A day after the tragedy in San Bernardino, California, a discussion of gun control tonight at Cedarville University. Our Lisa Smith is there tonight where the forum has just wrapped up. Lisa. Well, Natasha, they covered a lot of territory in their panel discussion tonight. In the end, they admit that they had a lot more problems than solutions. In the wake of San Bernardino, talk tonight at Cedarville University about the complicated and layered topic of gun control. Historically, uh, stiffer laws have not necessarily decreased crime. As we learn more about the couple who took 14 lives and injured 21 more at a social services building in California yesterday, students, faculty, and community members gathered at Cedarville University tonight to discuss the tough questions, like what does the Second Amendment really mean? And so the Constitution doesn't settle this issue. It allows for policy, it allows for some restrictions, it allows for gun control, and I think that's a lot of the reason we have the arguments that we do. The, the, the Constitution isn't definitive. You know, taking, taking weapons from law-abiding citizens and, and making restrictions even more difficult for the law-abiding citizens is, is not the answer. The tone of the panel was conservative, but one panelist did note recent studies show tougher gun laws make a difference. So they're trying to find some numbers, statistics that say, hey, directly related to firearms, the firearm homicide rate goes down, and they look even to the suicide rate, and they said there's a 15% reduction in suicide. Still, the debate continued over what kinds of laws make good laws. Now, some other discussions that went on tonight were about whether or not those gun-free zones should be abandoned, whether schools should train and allow their staff to carry guns. They also admitted that uh, there is more discussion that needs to be done about gun control versus just plain outright opposition. Live at Cedarville, Lisa Smith, Fox45now.com.